tomato hornworms are a common pest in tomato gardening and they're very tricky, very well camouflaged and hard to spot. It was a bit of a surprise when I saw my first one because I really didn't expect to see this giant green worm sitting on my plant. They can devastate tomato plants very quickly. And as you can see, basically look like a droopy leaf. What to look for? Inspect your plants regularly and look for their scree or poop. Tomato hornworms become the sphinx moth. The key with the hornworm is vigilance. Check your plants daily. In late spring, that is when the adult moths will be active and laying their eggs. And that's actually how I spotted the sphinx moth eggs, was by see finding the cylindrical white almost slightly green eggs that were laid on the plant and I removed them by hand um, and popped them in a bowl of soapy water to finish the job. You will miss them obviously um, and I found obviously two of the caterpillars or worms um, about three weeks later and these the best thing is to remove them by hand too. As mentioned, you're keeping an eye out for their scree or poop, or just keeping an eye on the leaves. Um, so I removed it with a towel. They're very sticky, I think, probably. Um, and actually, the next time I remove the second one, the easiest thing is just to cut the leaf that they're on and, and take the leaf. Um, in this case, I, I used a, a paper towel to remove him, and he was reluctant to come off. And if you don't like squishy, crawly things, probably not the best way to remove it. Um, and so definitely recommend just finding the, the branch that they're on in this case and just cutting it off. Uh, therefore, you don't really have to touch it. Anyone remember Clash of the Titans, that 80s movie? Well, I recreated the scene. Andromeda is tied to a stone a rock and waiting for the kraken to eat it. In this case, my kraken was a lovely little robin, and there's a bit of a backstory to that, which I'll go into, but I put my hornworm on a dead stump that we have at the bottom of our garden and waited for my kraken slash robin to come and visit, which he did, and goodbye hornworm. The quick backstory to the robin is they set up a nest in the crook of our drainage pipe and the chick fell out one day and we were able to put him back in his nest and he thrived and I think it was the same robin who came back. Kind of a thank you for helping me out and I'm going to take care of your hornworm. So finally, three main ways that you can deal with hornworms organically, remove them by hand, a Bacillus thuringiensis, really hard to pronounce, BT insecticide, which is hard to find, but you can find it in um, an online uh, website or maybe a local gardening store. I haven't tried that. And also companion planting, again, I haven't tried that. Uh, the hand removal was the easiest at the time and uh, certainly something that worked. Thanks again. Enjoy gardening.